so in this lecture so it's part 2 of recursion in c++ where we will just try to run a debugger and try to see step by step how really recursion is happening in the computer okay so let's try to see so we have built this code we will debug it now okay so we will debug it and for that okay so we are in main.cpp and let's try to see so we have this function we are in this function let's see next line we go so we are now at line this the computer will now execute line number 25 so now n there is a watch here in the debugger where i want to track the value of n and factorial n both are of type int so now n is some garbage value is there but when we execute this line so now n becomes 5 we will step into this factorial so we now come here to the factorial function okay and the value of n is 5 and now let's try to see the call stack so initially initially we were in main function from main we called factorial with n is equal to 5 okay so let's try to move further next line n is not equal to 1 because n was 5 so we move to again else part return n into factorial n minus 1 we step into this function now we came into factorial so from factorial with n is equal to 5 we are calling factorial n is equal to 4 okay so this is the call stack so from n is equal to 5 we are calling n is equal to 4 now in watch also you see n is 4 so next line again we come into the else part because n is not 1 we step into it now again we have gone into n into factorial n minus 1 so n was 4 so it becomes 3 so from factorial with n is equal to 4 we call factorial with n is equal to 3 okay so this happens again we go to next line in the else part return n into factorial n minus 1 again from factorial with n is equal to 3 it calls factorial with n is equal to 2 in the call stack as you can see again we do next line and step into it so what happens now finally from factorial with n is equal to 2 it calls factorial with n is equal to 1 okay that is called and now what will happen next line because n is 1 now next line will be return 1 okay so we will return so now we were calling the function stack call stack was increasing now because it is returning so from n is equal to 1 we return so this goes away the stack has become smaller now call stack and now we have we are in the function with factorial n is equal to 2 so let's see here also now n was 2 and now we return this statement is executed return 2 into factorial of 1 that is done so we go into the next line so n is 2 is also removed n is 3 is removed because of the next line now n is equal to 5 we come to the last one we return 5 into factorial of 4 from here and finally we return to the next line okay so this line is executed so you see factorial of n for n is equal to 5 has become 120 so this is great okay we saw in the computer using a debugger okay with a watch and the call stack how the recursion was happening so now finally we print it out okay so next line it is printed so if you see factorial of n is 120 is done so now our function has ended okay so we are done okay so we are done with the code so i hope you understand this this helps you get the feeling that okay the computer how really it is working on recursive functions okay so a very important thing to note in recursion is that there should be a base case otherwise 
so here the base case is if n is equal to 1 n was getting decremented when you hit a base case you should now return so that your recursion ends so i hope you understand this thanks a lot